So you wanted to get started with setting up the Shopify payments. I'm going to show you how to get started totally for free. So the very first thing you want to do is have a Shopify store. I'm going to leave, of course, the link down below in the description just in case you haven't played with yours and you have an actual great deal getting started with. So now what you wanted to do is to make sure that you are eligible of Shopify payments into your country. If I open any tab and go for Shopify payments country eligibility, uh, it's going to be showing me a list of the actual countries that are only, uh, let's say, accepting the actual Shopify payments. For example, here's Australia, Canada, United States, and so much more. But if your country is not available in here, unfortunately, the process is not going to be worthy for you. Still, I'm going to show you at the end of the video or after that how to, let's say, moving on to another alternative. So for people who are inside these actual countries that are eligible in here, then what you want to do is to go into the Shopify. Inside of Shopify, let's go directly into settings. Inside settings, you want to locate your actual section that says payment. Inside payments, this is the part what you wanted to on the Shopify payments, scroll down to the accept payment selection and choose Shopify payments as your payment provider. So in this case, by default, since your country is a label, so the Shopify payments go for activate the Shopify payments and go for activate Shopify payments automatically and it's going to be asking you for the business type whether they're going to be for individual, corporation, double LC, partnership or non-profit. Choose the one that best suits for your account and then add all your business details. After you complete the Shopify payment setup, just follow the prompts to complete the setup process for the Shopify payments. This might include providing necessary business and banking information. So what you're going to need to do is to create a payout account. So you're going to be notified when your account is activated. This usually might be taking a few minutes. Sales will be paid with your new Shopify balance account. So you're going to choose an account with a stepped verification later on if I wanted to in order to receive my money. So now that you have added all the bank information directly here into the Shopify, then you're ready to get started here into Shopify and the payments should be appearing in here. So as you can see, we can accept Visa, we can accept MasterCard, American Express, Discover, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and so much more. You can manage all of this directly into the Shopify payment, check out the payment rates and enable all the cards, shop pays and wallets you want to accept directly inside your store. After that, just hit into continue and then you're actually good to go. If you want to check out test mode so you can see and simulate successful and failed transactions, then enable the test mode so you can enable this section and all the Shopify payments transactions are just simulated and there won't be any charges there. Now, for those who don't have the actual Shopify enabled, then what you can do is to choose an alternative selection. Now, in this case, what I do is to choose another country that I'm currently not living. So first of all, I'm going to try to change my store details. Now that I have changed my actual address to Mexico, you can see that I no longer have the actual section of the Shopify payments because this country is not available inside the actual Shopify. So what I needed to do is to choose another provider instead of Shopify payments. So I have Stripe, I have Aiden or Walk server. So I have lots of sections that I can choose. But usually what I do is to go here into the filter and just enable the actual elements that I wanted to accept. For example, I wanted to accept Apple Payment, Google Pay, Visa and MasterCard. So the best solution for me is to go for Aiden or a Wallext. And I just select this element, go for install and follow the prompts so I can enable that and I can start receiving money here into my Shopify guys. And there you have it. You have successfully set up the Shopify payments or alternative solution into your online store. So guys, thank you for watching. If you find this story helpful, please give us a like, subscribe and share with others who might be benefited. Stay tuned for more beginner friendly tutorials and tips from online media. Until next time.